the Piraiba, the largest catfish in the Amazon. A true known man-eater. So, of course I had to get my hands on one. Welcome back to Obsidian Exotics and today I thought it's finally time for me to show you one of the coolest new additions to my collection. Now don't mind the really loud noises or the bad lighting, I'm sort of rushing this because I'm about to go to Sri Lanka but if you can quite see him right there, that is my true Piraiba, also known as the Lao Lao which is the largest known catfish in all of the Amazon. Now if you're anything like me you're probably a huge fan of the show River Monsters by Jeremy Wade where this fish sort of became infamous for occasionally <coughs> snacking on people, as you do. So obviously, late last year when I got given the chance to get my hands on one of them, I couldn't say no. Okay, I maybe got more than one. I got about seven. So given their current market value of around four and a half thousand dollars each, it really wasn't fun on my bank account. But hey, hear me out. I figured that because I'm getting them slightly cheaper at a bulk deal, um, I could probably sell off like four or five of them and then use that money to sort of pay off or reduce the cost of the two that I wanted to keep. And usually this is pretty risky because most of the time with livestock, you can't guarantee things will go perfectly. They can eat each other, they can jump out of the tank, something random could happen and you could just lose the fish. But in this case, it actually went pretty well. All the fish survived perfectly fine and I managed to sell five of them, which almost covered the cost of the two remaining ones that I wanted to keep. So by nature, Piraiba are known for being solitary fish. So I didn't really have the highest of hopes that these two would get along, but I have also heard cases that if they grow up together, they seem to have a better chance of you know, staying together. So I was really hoping that my two would grow up and be best friends for the rest of their lives. And to be honest, things were actually going really well. They were in the same tank for about maybe three, four months and they never fought each other, turned out perfectly fine. But as of a couple weeks ago, the big one decided that he no longer wants to be friends and decided to try and eat his friend. So I had to now separate them. So the smaller one is now in the sump tank that I used to grow them out in. And the big one is with um, these monsters back here. And so far, I mean, he's doing really well in there and he's getting even bigger, even quicker, given the larger space. But unfortunately that means I'm gonna have to sell my smaller one. But hey, at least I still get to keep a Piraiba in my collection. Now this is my first time keeping these monsters. So I'm still learning through experience what they're actually like to keep. But so far from what I've noticed, he's been really chill with all the fish and he doesn't seem to pick on anything, even though he's an apex predator where he comes from. He actually is very gentle with his food and how he eats the food. He just slowly goes over and just collects it and then goes away and eats it in his own privacy, I guess. It's really cute to see that such a, you know, future apex predator that's gonna possibly eat everything in this tank if he wanted to is just very gentle with his feeding, but who knows, that'll change. The other thing is he is very quick, so they'll just dart from one place to the other and just disappear. But even though I haven't kept them before, I have kept many other massive monster fish before, so I'm pretty familiar with large fish. And so far, care-wise, it's been roughly the same as any large predatory catfish. I'll probably make a more in-depth video later on in the future once I get to know the species a lot better and especially once I've moved everything over to my new place which I still haven't done but we're getting there I promise. I know it's been like a year now but we're slowly getting there. And also before everyone starts roasting me in the comments or something I'm well aware how big they get so I have much bigger plans ahead in terms of where he's gonna go for his forever home. So there will be much, much bigger projects coming up. But in the time being, they don't grow ridiculously quickly, like a red tail catfish, for example. So it'll still take him about four to five years to get to roughly three foot in length, which most of my tanks can house him anyway. And by then I'll have a much larger setup. I guess in a way it'll also keep pushing me to keep upgrading my setups um, and going bigger and better each time, which I'm sure my family would greatly appreciate. 
Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's new in my collection and introduce you to this stunning fish. And I can't wait to watch it grow into a true monster. As always, thank you so much for all your support and I guess I'll see you in the next one.